Hey guys, this is Eric again, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about entertainment versus recreation, as well as give you some tips on how to analyze which one you participate more in, and a morning habit that you can do to make sure that you are always in alignment with your true purpose and passion. So here's a little backstory. Uh, past couple months, I've been implementing a new habit called the morning ritual. It's something I learned from I listen to people like Tony Robbins and the morning ritual or he, Tony Robbins will call it an hour of power is just changing what you do at, at the very beginning of the day. It's like your mental, spiritual, energetic, emotional breakfast that you choose to eat so that you nourish your body with proper philosophies, proper energy and alignment so that you're not derailed from from pursuing your passions. Uh, it is a massively influential habit and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Actually, I'm going to issue a challenge to you in just a minute. But before we get there, what came up for me the other morning when I was in my ritual was uh, the concept of entertainment uh, versus recreation. And I end up looking at the definitions of these two words. And because at first, when you hear it, you think, you know, recreation, entertainment, you, you know, at first glance, you don't think that there's really that much difference between the two. Turns out there's a lot of difference. Um, recreation, for example, if you look at the Latin of that word, it means to create again or to renew. Um, if you look at entertainment, it simply means something that basically distracts us or occupies our attention uh, in, in such a way that it is pleasurable, right? Again, it sounds somewhat similar, but I'll reiterate more of the differences. Um, most entertainment that we participate in, particularly in the United States, is are forms of escapism. And by escapism, I mean things that will pull us from our current state, our current reality, and place, in, place us often into a situation of fantasy or tune us out from what's going on around us. Um, this could be everything from drug use to uh, video games, books, novels, television shows. Um, there's a lot of different types of escapism type entertainment that's out there. So recreation, on the other hand, is something a little bit different. Recreation is going to be things that leave us feeling renewed, leave us feeling like we've maybe created something or, uh, I guess, fostered up more creativity. Uh, it's something that's going to be have us feeling that it's synergistic with what our purposes and passions are. It doesn't feel like we're escaping or being distracted. So. For me, what I noticed as I did a little bit of a self-analysis, what I did, and I challenge you to do this, would be to just take out a piece of paper and write down some of the, the most recent activities that you participated in. And then out beside those activities, uh, ask yourself the question, did I come away feeling truly renewed um, because of this activity? And if so, you can put a check out beside it. And if not, then you can put an X out beside it. As a matter of fact, I'll share with you um, a couple from mine. So uh, last night, for example, um, I pulled down my guitar and I played guitar for about an hour to an hour and a half. And that's something that definitely taps into my creativity. It, uh, it, it's, it's good for me to do that. And so I'm able to put a check by that. That's definitely something that I find that um, was renewing. Uh, however, so another thing that I did last night is when I was done with that, um, I went to lay down and I uh, put on some Netflix. We all do that, right? Uh, I put on some Netflix to just go to sleep to. And it was entertaining. It's a show. It's a show I like. But when I asked myself the honest question, do I come away feeling renewed and better because of that? The answer is simply no, that I don't. It's just escapism. It's entertainment. So then I look further and thought, well, if I look back on times in my life when I felt like I've been more stagnant and not progressing, not feeling like I'm, I just, you just don't feel like you're, you're really growing, not doing things that you're, you're passionate about. When I look at those times, I find that there's a imbalance in the amount of escapism forms of entertainment that show up in my life. Uh, more movies are being watched. More time, maybe I'd would, I would play video games or, uh, you know, do things that uh, just don't really renew me. It just just escapism is all that it is. And now that I've adopted this, um, I've, I've been making shifts in my life and tuning back into what I call higher vibration uh, living and higher vibration sources of inspiration. 
I'm finding that recreation is is showing up. There's and I haven't consciously thought this, but I'm involved more in things that are recreational. And because I'm seeking to be aligned with things that are helping me to live a more fulfilled life. So first challenge is a little self-analysis. Pull out a sheet of paper, write down the activities, the most recent activities that you participated in, and ask yourself that question. Did I feel renewed, or is it just a form of escapism? If you're seeing more escapism than renewal, then you probably need to make a shift. So that leads us to the next challenge. Um, and I, what I want to do is challenge you to a 21-day challenge. You can do a 30-day if you want. I say 21 because I've always heard that saying that uh, you know Benjamin Franklin said it takes 21 days to form a habit. And I think 21 days is, uh, is very doable for anyone. And what I want you to do on these mornings is to dedicate the first hour of your day to break your current patterns and to do something completely different than you normally do. And not just something different, but something that aligns you with the truer purpose. Now, if you don't know how your ideal life would look like uh, and what your true purpose would be, then on day one of this challenge, what I recommend you do is grab that uh, a notepad like this and a piece of paper, and I want you to write a phrase at the top of it. And that phrase is, I am so happy and grateful now that dot, dot, dot. And then proceed to write out your life as though you already had everything you could imagine that would just literally make you feel happy and grateful. For me, like one of my goals is to get a Tesla Model S, so electric vehicle. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have my Tesla Model S. I'm driving it around town. It feels so good. I want you to write as though you're there. Pretend just like you're a kid and just really feel the energy of doing that. And if you feel excited about what you're writing and you can just shut out everything else, just feel excited about it, then you know you have some, some guidelines for kind of what your basic goals are. It's funny when you do this, your mind will begin to present then to you ways that you can accomplish uh, to, uh, to make that a reality. Um, so you can try that on day one. And then for the next uh, 20 days of the challenge, what I want you to do is to find, watch videos like these. Look up Tony Robbins, look up Wayne Dyer, um, buy Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Find books that are motivational and inspiring. Uh, just listen, tune in. Tony Robbins is a great source. I love the guy. Super, super good at what he does. Uh, Bernie Bouchard is another uh, great inspirational person. Listen to these type of videos, um, these audios, and just pay attention to how you feel. And do this before you look at Facebook, you check an email, anything else. And if you can't allocate a full hour for whatever reason, make it 30 minutes. If you can't do 30 minutes, make it 15 minutes. If you can't do 15 minutes, make it five minutes. Do whatever you can do to just make a, a subtle shift. And I promise you that as you do this, you're gonna feel like each day is gonna show up differently for you. Your unconscious mind will be in to present ideas to you, thoughts, um, suggestions, things that you can do to shift more in alignment with what you feel your true purpose is. You just have to be aware of what it is and put yourself in alignment with it. And you will see that you will start to want to turn to things that are more recreational. And by the way, a morning ritual I consider to be a recreational activity because you are recreating uh, your life every single day. Uh, so that's your challenge, and I'm doing this, and I, uh, I'd love you to leave a comment below and let me know what you, maybe your experience on day one or throughout the challenge has been. And uh, if you have any questions um, about the how-tos or questions about this video, please let me know, and I will reply uh, below in this video. Thank you.